that nice old man who lives up the street. Oh, yeah. Maybe Herbert can watch the kids. He seems like a responsible guy. So it would only be till Monday, and we could pay you for it. Yeah, and it's real easy, I promise. I mean, you, you've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. I All right, children. Your mammy and pappy asked me to look after you for the next couple days. So I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio, and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me, or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. Hello? Hey, Brian, it's me. I, I got a question for you. Herbert and I are playing Scattergories. Would you count NyQuil as a beverage? Um... No, right? No. Yeah, not gonna fly, old man. Thanks, Brian. Damn it. I'm missing Boy Meets World for this? And they told Peter to stay away from the wolf. But he didn't listen to them, because he's his own man. And he knew that sometimes the things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Yes, sir, it was a good day for young Peter. Are you a pedophile? I don't know what day it is. No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Mom, is, is this for real? Well, it sure looks that way, sweetie. It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. Ma'am, I hate to be a nuisance, but your son stopped kicking the back of my chair. Mm. Thank you. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. And you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. <laughs> You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. Later. Holy moly, it must be my birthday. Oh, how I envy them, dog. They've got their whole lives ahead of them. Oh, man, look at that kid. That is one ugly eighth grader. You don't want to hurt yourself dancing. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Well, looks like the good Lord just sent me a conversation starter. Come here, Jesse. Come get the ball. Well, hello there, young man. I was starting to think you weren't coming. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Herbert. Well, I guess I'll get started. You know, if you get sweaty and want to take your shirt off, that'd be just fine. Or tie it in a knot, your choice. Well, Jesse, I guess we gotta find some other way to spend our evenings. And now back to ESPN's exclusive coverage of the Little League World Series. Oh, jackpot! Today, I started a lovable gang of Cockney pickpockets. All right, boys, the best targets are old rich people. There's one now. Go get him. Oh, no! There's no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. More to questions from a community at large. Yes, Mrs. Griffin. How do you feel about those computer websites that put a blue square on the home of a sex offender? Well, the safety of our children is a very important part of my plan for Quahog. I'll be lucky if I can make it to the end of the month. Sounds like you need a roommate. Where'd you get that kind of money? I picked up Chris's paper route. 
Gosh, gosh, by gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mind. Hey, Chris, you want to practice kissing again? I'm busy. I set up a video camera last night so I can prove to mom and dad that the evil monkey is real and I want to see what I got. What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, roofies, and a mallet? It's for a rare African bird called None Your Business. Wow, it, it looks like the whole town got invited. But what about the old guy? I heard him complaining about woods in the dining room. That's true. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where are you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play crazy snakes. <laughs> if I should die, I, I just want you to know that they might find some things. Strange things. Things that don't make sense to you. Um, okay. And there's going to be a lot of talk. Nasty talk. And I just want you to know, for me, it's all going to be out of context. I don't know what that means. It means if I die, you got to burn my house down. Hey there, Chris. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Selling your old hand-me-downs? Yep. You got anything you used to wear in the summertime? Just these old shorts. Sweet Jesus. Ugh. He can't hurt you anymore. Hey there, little fella. We sure got a lovely day for it, don't we? Stay away from my brother's butt. Mm, seems like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're gonna break that thermometer! Oh, hey there, Chris. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope Cupid brings you a saggy old bag of treats. Hey, Mr. Herbert. I'm just here to collect for the newspaper. Here you go. Oh, hang on now, Chris. Your fly's up again. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. Reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. This just in. All kids report to the blue van in the park at 3 p.m. for free popsicles! Oh my god, Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Peter, enough! You've got to make this right! Now, that one seemed less earned. Go away, Mr. Herbert! It's not me. I'm in your closet. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. Bruce didn't change his vote. I did. <laughs> Respect Brian's courage. It's not easy to stand alone or find the child who stands alone. But that's the one you want. Maybe we should keep the new mattress. Way ahead of you, Lois. I already dragged the old one out to the curb. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go rub up against the basement door jam. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Well, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? <laughs> Why are you being such a jerk, Dad? D -d 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 Dad! Yeah, this is my dad. Oh. <laughs>
Well, he often said he wanted to explode all over me. He finally did.